Hello, this is Teresa Adams from Community College of Denver, and what we're going to talk about today is converting from revolutions per minute to radians per minute. So, first thing is we have this conversion. Our conversion is 2 pi radians over 1 revolution, or we have 1 revolution over 2 pi radians. These are our unity fractions. Our straight conversion is the fact that we have 2 pi radians, which is one complete revolution. If you want to get rid of revolutions, then what you're going to use is this one. If you want to get rid of radians, then you're going to use this one. So let's take a look at our first one here. We're going to go from 30 RPM radians, or revolutions per minute, excuse me, to radians per minute. We are going to do a straight conversion. We don't have to worry about the fact that, that we have unit problems because those are the same units in time. So I have nice, easy 30 revolution per minute. And I want to get rid of the revolutions. So I'm going to use the first unity fraction, which is 2 pi radians over one revolution. I'm totally okay if you just do the 2 times the 30, so it's 60 pi and radians per minute. If you would like to um, use your pi button on your calculator and give uh, another answer in a couple of decimal places, I'm okay with that too. The exact answer has pi in it, but I'm okay if you give it to a couple of decimal places as well. So let's take a look at our, our part B. On part B, we have, we're going from radians to revolutions, so we're going to be using the second unity fraction. And I need to convert my hours into seconds. So the first thing is, let's take care of the 30, th uh, the 30 excuse me, the 3,000 radians per hour. Let's do that conversion. So let's do the 3,000 radians per hour. And I want to get rid of radians, and so I have one revolution over 2 pi radians. Now that will take care of my radians and I'll end up in revolutions per hour, but I want to end up in revolutions per second. So I'm going to have to convert my time unit, and so for one hour I have 3600 seconds. So I have my hours will cancel, and I'm going to take the 3000 and I'm going to divide it by 2 pi, and then I'm going to get an answer and divide that answer again by 3600. And so doing that, I'm going to give it to two decimal places. My answer is 0 0.13 revolutions per second. Now, I'm going to leave C and D for you to do. I'm going to go ahead and give you the answers, though, and we can talk about them in class if you have any questions. And thank you for watching.